Welcome to Swetha's English Hub. The entire world is facing a dangerous pandemic. In spite of this pandemic, COVID, the children should not get away from it. And to make learning easy, back to English very easy, all the children, come on, let us study English with Swetha's English Hub. In this, we are going to discuss all the English lessons related to various classes, not only lessons, grammar, communication skills, personality development, etc. So, coming to today's part, today we'll have a brief introduction regarding 10th class syllabus. In 10th class, we have 8 units and as all of you know, the 8 units are theme-based units. Let us have a brief introduction for the first unit. The theme of this is personality development. What is personality and what is development? Personality development is nothing but it is a process of enhancing one's personality. Personality means one's attitude, one's behavior, self-confident, self-esteem, everything. So, if a person has knowledge, that is not at all enough. He or she has to be independent. They should have pleasing personality. So, in order to know Create awareness. The first unit is taken as personality development. This, the positive way of thinking, improving the communication skills, everything makes matter in personality development. So come on, let's join together into the first unit, personality development, under which we have A reading, attitude is altitude, B reading, Every success story is also a great story of failures. See reading, I will do it. Now, let us have a brief introduction regarding the first unit, A reading, attitude is altitude. Now, you can see a few pictures of famous persons. I think you can guess the names. One is a lady, Sudha Chandran. The other one, Stephen Hawking. And one more lady you can see, it is Helen Keller. Let us know something about Sudha Chandran. Who is she? Why she became so popular, so famous? Sudha Chandran, she is nothing but, she is a, in, she is a classical dancer. Then somebody becomes famous, extraordinary or something else because of their extraordinary characters. It's not because they are having money or social status. Social status or money, everything comes with their personality. So here, Sudha Chandran, she is a famous classical dancer. She is very popular in Bharatanatya. But unexpectedly, if you could see the picture very clearly, if you see the legs, you can identify a change there, identify a difference. What is that? Can you guess it? Yes, one leg is white in color and one is little black in color. Well, then why? Do we have the same legs? One in white and one in black? No, not at all. We have two legs in the same color. But this lady, this young lady is having two legs in two different colors. What makes the difference? Here, this young lady who is actress in Indian film, television and also a Bharatanatyam classical dancer, she was once traveling with her parents in a car and she met with an accident in Tamil Nadu. In that accident, she her leg was badly injured and the doctors had suggested to amputate the leg and her parents having no other option went for amputation. What do you mean by amputation? Cut off. Removed. So the leg part is removed. She being a dancer who used to dance like a peacock with a great zeal, with a great uh, interest towards dance, with commitment. She has started in an amputation when her leg was removed. A Jaipur leg was fixed to her. That means it's nothing but a artificial leg was implanted to her. Try once lifting one of your leg for some time for 5 seconds or 10 seconds and try to walk. Can you? No, it's really horrible task. You can walk for 1 minute or 2 minutes. But what about the next? What about the entire day? What about 1 hour? It is highly impossible. But that young lady with great willpower, she has started walking. Walking with and taking the uh, suggestions of the doctors she has started walking and she did everything and slowly she started practicing dance which is her life the just thing is passion the commitment towards dance the interest the love she is having towards dance made her to dance with an artificial leg that was really miracle 
and the doctors even did not believe that she could able to walk in the coming future but she has done the impossible is possible means next one more famous personality he is stephen hawking then why this personality has become very famous that much famous so stephen hawking he was a physicist and cosmetologist and he is a author at center of theoretical cosmology university cambridge so what happened suddenly a cambridge professor a physicist what happened to him can you see the photograph do you find any change in the photograph yes yes head is slightly bent to one of one side then what is it why why he why his head is so so he was normal as a normal child he was brought up as a normal child and he was born in a family of doctors and he was being educated in oxford university he is first in school he got his first degree first degree of a bachelor's in physics with first class he began his graduation in cambridge he obtained phd also then slowly what happened to him there was a disease diagnosed which is called as motor neuro disease this is a rare kind of disease which is diagnosed in a very few percentage of people in 1 lakh people you can diagnose this for hardly one person so such kind of disease is he was diagnosed and what is the impact of this disease slowly speech stopped and he uh, his muscles became very weak and uh, he is unable to uh, lift his legs lift his hands lift his own body he was permitted to a wheelchair but in spite of staying in the wheelchair also he has brought many theories the theory of black hole all these were discovered hawking radiation i think all of you are aware of this so means he did not give up he kept went on struggling went on struggling and doing something i i can do it and he has done it and he has coming to the third person helen keller have you observed her picture actually she is born normal as a normal kid she has met with a disease and from the age of 19 months you can imagine 19 months it's not even one and half year so at the age of one and half year due to that particular disease slowly she has lost her eyesight slowly the eyesight has decreased and with the eyesight only she slowly became deaf also means she is unable to see and she is unable to hear anything how how, how that ticket is how quick a person can live without seeing and without hearing something so her parents started searching for a teacher who could teach her to do her minimum works without seeing and without hearing and there they got a trainer and there she got everything trained even though she is deaf and dumb she has studied up to 7 and uh, she has written many books she did not give up that i am unable to see i am unable this is the introduction for first unit let us meet with the lesson in the upcoming video thank you this is my first video if there is any problem with the audio or video comment me in the comment section thank you please like share comment and subscribe to twitter english hub